Hi, my name is Gerald Jones, and I'm a visual artist. This is uh, some of my work that I'm displaying at the Berkeley yeah. Gallery. I want to explain some of my paintings here, and so I'll celebrate Black History Month. Mm -hmm. uh, this stuff That's right, this is February. Yeah, it's February, right? Yeah, right? Right. This, this symbolizes the, uh, the Black family, the strength of the Black family, mm -hmm. the unity, and uh, I use it and I use the bright colors to make it vibrant and energy. And uh, I, pick, I depict the, the father with the child, so it means there's a bond there. And, uh, now, are you self-taught or, or did you go to school? Well, I went to, uh, I went to Pratt Institute for the Student Art League mm -hmm. uh, for three years. I won scholarships for the summertime for three years. Yeah. Because uh, I'm an alumni of Boys High School, the old Boys High School. In oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I won scholarships three years for the student art league. Oh, very good. So, and uh, after I came from, uh, after I got out of the service, mm -hmm. I uh, applied for a, a GI grant to go to Brooklyn College. I studied there for two years. And um, that's about the extent of my education. And mainly the rest of it is experience and self-taught. Yeah. You know, and I used uh, a lot of my... Uh, my experiences have been in the uh, services connected with my culture because mm -hmm. uh, it helped me to, you know, to understand the importance of culture and have my, and my heritage, I connect with my heritage. That's why I dedicate a lot of my work to Afrocentric. Yeah, they're very, and tell me about this one over here because they're very strong, but you have uh, strong color sense. Yeah. <laughs> you really like bold colors, you know what I mean? Yeah, this, is the, this is what I concentrate on is mainly the the colors, because I believe colors give energy, just like the sun, it gives off energy. Mm -hmm. And this particular one, it's uh, it's the voyage of slaves on a slave ship. Oh, you know, okay. it's, uh, I try to concentrate on the uh, on the eyes, so it so the eyes depict uh, some uh, different emotions, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, bewilderment, uh, uh, fear. Uh, you caught that. Yeah, defeat, mm -hmm. uh, anxiety, you know, and different, when you look at it, you get different. Uh, I see the change. Yeah, the different change in, 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 the, in, the, uh, in the faces themselves. And it depicts the, the voyage that our ancestors took from Africa to uh, this great, great country. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to fit the old gospel type of uh, 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 method to it because. Uh, I really got inspiration from a movie called Cabin in the Sky. Yeah, we all, I know, love that movie. Yeah, we all the actors and whatnot were sitting on the stage, right. on the clouds waiting to go to heaven. Mm -hmm. And, it, it, and um, they were entertaining everybody. So this is why I named this one The Journey. This is called The Journey. Right. This here in particular one, this is The Journeyman. Right. This is the, the figure that's celebrating the journey. And they all these figures, they don't have any gender, they all wall headed so you can't tell if they man or woman. This right, is right, right. figure here I got from uh like uh, the figure that in, in the Bible, Doubt and Thomas or he's doubt, he's doubting that he's gonna um, make the journey. You know, that's why he's somewhat you know frustrated. Yeah. Okay, and this one? Oh this one here depicts the it's, this one is called African culture, African heritage. Mm -hmm. This one depicts the the African structure. This here is the spirit of Africa. This here is Mother Africa. And these are the three stages of, of African life: birth, adulthood, and, and, and uh, the elders. And these here depict the cultures of Africa. Mm -hmm. This is the mask of Africa. This is another mask of Africa. And these are the nomads of Africa. And this is the sun. Yeah. This is, gives it the energy, gives, gives Mother Earth the energy to produce the... Uh, I like that composition uh, and the colors. And this last one. Oh, this one is Kwanzaa. This one is called Kwanzaa. Okay. These are the seven steps of Kwanzaa. Okay. Yeah, uh, you got seven steps on this side and seven steps on that side. This is Mother Earth and this is Africa. There you go. She's developing Africa and, and uh, she embraces the Kwanzaa philosophy. And she gives all us the, 
the ability to, to connect with our ancestors through Kwanzaa. Yep. Yeah. I celebrate Kwanzaa each year. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I usually uh, have a celebration in the Mekong Library in Bethany Style. Mm -hmm. And I usually uh, dedicate a painting to them to describe my dedication to Kwanzaa. Well, listen, thank you so much, and I wish you all success in the show. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.